So welcome to my 2024 trading desk and productivity setup. So in this video, I'll go over my monitors, computer, keyboard, mouse, and also software that I personally use to day trade and invest. So as usual, all the best tools will be linked in the description. So don't forget to check that out and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to go over is the monitors. I'm still using the same one as before, but I changed the configuration once again. And I went back to the first version that I had these monitors. So what I didn't like at the time is that I was using a really short desk. And what ended up happening is the monitors were just too close. So it wasn't comfortable with this one on top over here because it was just too high. So what I did on this one is I changed the desk to the cheap IKEA desk that I complained at least 20 times in the past year because it's really cheap and ugly but it's more deep and that helps me with creating some spacing between me and the screen and I also did something different with this setup is I changed the mount behind it. So for these mount what I have is I have two individual mount that are going to connect the vertical monitors and I also have this new one that's in the back that supports the two of them, but that allows me to actually move them a bit closer because this one or this desk was the opposite. It was too deep compared to the other one. And that created a problem with my age is that the font was getting smaller and smaller and I just couldn't see and my posture was just getting really bad. So I fixed that problem and I really think it's the best setup that I have currently in terms of posture, um, how everything is set up and for trading and productivity because as much as I trade the full day sometime I'd like to go on my computer and just you know sit back relax you know and just go on the internet so when I do that at least it's more comfortable by the way I forgot to mention it in the intro but all the tools and all the product that I'm using will be linked in the description so that includes all the desks the monitors the computer and all of this stuff and also as usual the broker that I personally use will be linked down there so Let's get back to the video and to complete the monitor section and how everything is set up. There's one thing that I added this year. It's this duck and it's the DP1310 by BenQ. So what this allows me to do is just to change from my trading computer to a Mac that I personally use to go on the Internet, as I mentioned and do all other stuff that are not trading related because I'm trying to really keep my machine really fair trading and not have anything in it to make sure it run as fast as possible. This duck is also connected to my keyboard and mouse. So I really have to do one thing and just to click that little button and it works really well and it's not really expensive. I think it was around $300. If you want to get it, there's going to be a link in the description. So now let's jump to some other things that are more important. And this is going to be my actual trading computer. I'm still running the HP Omen 25L and the only latest upgrade that I did was upgrade the fan once again just to some bigger one and put additional one in the PC. It's hard to show but I'll link a video that's really helpful and it's going to show you how to do it or why it's actually important but the overall big lines about this is just that I want to keep it cool and this room gets pretty hot with the big window in the summer so I want to make sure my computer is not overheating because I'm running a lot of software. And talking about software, the software that I added this year was Bloomberg. I'm trading more news and this is important for me to have the fastest tool. So I have everything set up in a certain way that's more efficient for my trading. So I have Sterling Trader Pro, I have TWS for everything that's related to option and also swing trading. I put it all in this account and I have for the rest of it, just Bloomberg. Trading view for chart if I need a bigger picture chart of something. But for the most part, I'm trying to have the least software open and be just more efficient with what I have. And when it comes to being more efficient, I have everything set up in a certain way. So I have my Bloomberg alerts right away in front of me so I can see it at all time. And I have my general press release up there because I need a bigger window for that. So when I'm sitting down like this, everything is at eye level and I can be just faster when news comes out versus having everything separate on different monitor. So it's just better for me. And when it comes to being more efficient and comfortable, something that is really important and this thing, I haven't changed it and it's the chair. I still have the Ehrman Miller Aeron chair and this chair is just the best chair I ever had. I don't think I'm going to change it and I have no reason to change it because my back problems are finally completely done since I have this chair and it's been a couple of years now and I do not regret it. If you're sitting a lot at your desk, and if your posture is important for you, I highly recommend this chair. It's a very pricey one, but I think if you're going to keep it, 
it's quite important. So when it comes to the accessories, I have a few things and I think some of it were in the previous video that I've done, but I have the Logitech G915. And this is a really good keyboard because I have the extra hotkey. So it allows me to be a bit faster on my trade instead of having to click many things at the same time. So I really do enjoy that keyboard. It's also mechanical and it's wireless. It's not ideal, but I do have a mouse that do have a cable in case something goes wrong. When it comes to the extra computer, it's an old MacBook Pro, it's a 2020. It's still running really, really well for overall things, but if you're looking for video editing, it's not gonna be the machine that's really good for you. And this computer is running on this little Apple mouse also. I'm not using the same one because this one is a wired one. And also when it comes to the extra computer that I have, this mic and also these headphones, everything is connected in the Mac. It's not connected in my trading PC because I'm trying, as I mentioned, to keep everything out of it if I can to make sure this computer is the least used if I don't need it to. But anything is when it comes to maybe a thumbnail or anything for YouTube is gonna be done on this Mac if I'm doing it myself. But if my editor is doing it, it's not gonna be done over here. But overall, all the footage, it just doesn't go in my trading computer and everything is connected in the dock that I mentioned before by BenQ because this allows me to connect my Mac with only one cable, which is really ideal instead of having multiple cable because all this machine has already way too many cables. 